Houston held its first gun buyback in years over the weekend, and it was successful enough that the city and the county are planning to have another one. But they will be making changes to this one. ABC 13 reporter Tom Abrams joining us live to explain. Tom. Chauncey, they collected 845 guns over the weekend and gave out $100,000 worth of cash gift cards. Of those 845, 50 of them, approximately, were those so-called ghost guns, and they will not be part of the program going forward. Hundreds participated in the buyback, which offered anywhere from $50 to $200. They collected rifles and handguns, old and newer and some which the mayor says were merely an effort to take advantage of the offer. We did get some ghost guns uh, where people may have 3D printing or uh, made these guns specifically for the gun buyback program. Uh, we will eliminate that portion. So okay. no 3D printed guns next time? No, we're not going to do that. They will also add more staffing to the next effort, which the mayor believes is an important, if not small, component of a multi-pronged anti-crime initiative, One Safe Houston. But the program is not without its critics. Harris County's District Attorney, Kim Ogg, sent a letter the day before the buyback telling law enforcement the no questions asked part of the program could harm potential criminal cases if a gun was involved in a crime or was stolen. The intentions were, were good, but the, the program needs to be refined. But the no questions asked aspect of the program oh, undermines the prosecution of crime. They point to a case just last year, ABC 13 covered, in which forensics from an accidental shooting led to a break in an unrelated murder. The same gun in two different shootings. Additionally, there are several studies over the past decade that call into question how effective buybacks are in reducing crime. But Harris County Commissioner Rodney Ellis says the buyback is only one plank in a broad approach. Gun buybacks that are successful are the ones that are part of a larger package. If we got one gun, just one, that could have killed somebody, if that person was me, you, or one of your listeners, it was well worth it. They are planning another buyback in the coming weeks, likely in another part of the city.